What's going on everybody? Simple back at it like I'm checking my height. Today we are checking out a video that was put out by CNET about Boyan Slat and his ocean cleanup project. Um, this video is called New River Trash Interceptors are Stopping Plastic from Reaching the Oceans. <clears throat> If you guys didn't know, we are supporting Team C's in their effort to help clean up the ocean. Um, Mr. Beast and Mark Rober have come together with Boyan, and they are trying to raise $30 million to clean up 30 million pounds of trash out of the ocean. We have a Team C support video that is posted. All of the money from that goes to the hashtag Team C's fund and anything up to a thousand dollars i will actually be doubling um so let's get that video seen it's like two minutes 30 seconds long so it definitely doesn't take very long i don't know it's pretty entertaining so i've heard i've had a little test group watch it and let me know what they thought so <clears throat> definitely make sure you guys check that out if you haven't already um but let's check this one out these things are so cool Seems like such a simple invention. Oh, I didn't even know they were solar. The next generation interceptors are currently being manufactured and they'll be deployed later this year in 2021. This thing is so ingenious. Like, and then a little boat comes over, pulls the little trash receptacles out and they can go and put them somewhere. Now, what's the chance that the trash comes back though that, that's the one part that interests me but our um ability to keep it out of the water is definitely there we just have to do something about it. the ocean cleanup is continuing on its mission of ridding the world of ocean plastic by introducing a third generation interceptor designed to catch plastic debris in large rivers before it makes its way into the ocean the okay. interceptor was first introduced in 2019 by the yeah. Ocean Cleanup's founder Shout and CEO, Boyan Slat, is. at an event in Rotterdam, Netherlands. What you're seeing behind me is the Ocean Cleanup's Interceptor, and it's the world's first scalable river plastic solution. The interceptors are moored to riverbeds and use the river's current to snag debris floating by on the surface, and then directs it onto a conveyor belt, which then discards the trash into six large dumpsters on board the interceptor. The interceptors run completely autonomously day and night, getting power from solar panels on top of the vessel. The debris is emptied by a small crew on a daily basis. I mean, I guess the only other thing that could make this thing just a little bit cooler than it already is, is to put some type of filtration system to actually suck the contaminants out of the top of the water that are sitting there into like some type of filter that could also be disposed of into these containers unless they have it already. The amount of garbage and floating debris is constantly being monitored by the interceptors onboard computers, which are also equipped with a flux capacitor to round out the futuristic look of the machines. That's well, it's awesome. Actually the third generation that, that we're so now cool. going to deploy. <laughs> with the first two My man put a flux capacitor in this thing. That is so dope. Generation. Shout out to Back to the Future. Removed a lot of plastic, but still, we found that we could still uh, further reduce the costs as well as the ease of rollout, the ease of assembly to, to really uh, speed up the deployment as much as possible while also making it more efficient. So one of the things you'll see on the latest generation interceptor is a massive two and a half meter wide um, conveyor belt to take out the plastic. Okay. The previous generation only had a one and a half meter wide conveyor belt. So what so we found was size. that it often clogged when it comes to very large debris. Uh, so widening that will hopefully also improve the uh, the reliability of the operation. Well, not quite double. I'll get chewed in the comments for that one. The Ocean Cleanup has partnered with a manufacturing and logistics company called Kona Cranes out of Finland. They will build more interceptors for the Ocean Cleanup and help deploy them around the world. Look Currently, the Ocean Cleanup... It's like a giant pool skimmer. It just hit me watching it flow like that. It's like a giant pool skimmer has three working interceptors installed the best in rivers in different parts of the globe. These rivers are considered to, to give be it one high word. contributors to the plastic debris floating into the ocean. At the Ocean Cleanup, our mission is to rid the world's oceans of plastic. And indeed, with the interceptors, we hope to stop plastic at the source. We're a relatively small organization and 
because we can't do this by ourselves. You know, a thousand rivers that we need to tackle to stop 80% of plastic going to the ocean. You know, that's a, a lot of rivers and we want to do that in as shortest time as possible. So really we look for partners to help us with, with rolling this out. You know, we're good at the engineering, the research, and sort of you know, finding these partners. And we need help oh, when it cool. comes to- The demonstration with the little ducks. That's so cool. Um, for it's example, a very cute way to present it. Manufacturing of the interceptors, <clears throat> the servicing, and actually installing them in the rivers. Now, and now these three things is what Kona Cranes will be helping us with. The ocean cleanup has set a goal to collect 500,000 football fields worth of plastic and debris. And as of now, they've collected more than 250,000 football fields worth of plastic, wow. mostly from the rivers that the interceptors are installed in. Now the river interceptors have been a great success for the ocean cleanup's goal of cleaning plastic out of rivers, but Boyan Slat's original goal of cleaning up the Great Pacific Garbage Patch with his other autonomous cleaning device, known as the Ocean Cleanup System, will kick into high gear this summer when the team will deploy and continue to test the upgraded System 2 in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Uh, this yeah. summer, uh, we will be returning to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch with a completely redesigned system which will be um, you know, actually much bigger and hopefully much more operational as well than, than the previous systems, which are really uh, small scale prototypes. So that's of course just the beginning. And um, yeah, there will be many millions or maybe even billions of, uh, of football fields in, in uh, years nice. to come. If of course this campaign this summer will be successful. The ocean cleanup systems and the interceptors have both contributed to a proof of concept experiment coming full circle and producing actual products out of plastic captured in the ocean. Last year, the ocean cleanup that, unveiled oh. their premium sunglasses, oh, which are made out of plastic pulled from the ocean. Oh, the plastic really? is then processed and pelletized to be molded into sunglass frames. That's the sunglasses cool. are meant to get the attention of other like-minded conservationists and companies interested in using recycled products to make new things. It's not like we, <laughs> we want to be like a sunglass company. Actually, we're not. We're no, we're no profit focus on, on cleaning, but it was just really a, a demonstration. Like, look, if you can make um, sunglasses that are super high premium, if you can do that with this material, I mean, definitely there, there is a lot of value in this. And, of course, Absolutely. the most poetic thing would be if we can, can keep the cleanup going through the plastic that we get out, because it would just be this uh, flywheel that would just keep turning. We sold uh, over half of these sunglasses now. People can still order their own on, the, on our website, theoceancleanup.com. Hmm. If we are successful with this, hopefully in the years them. to come, when we actually get real big volumes of trash to shore, um, that we can actually sell that material at a very high premium and with that keep the cleanup going. The Ocean Cleanup sunglasses are being used as a platform to raise more money for the ultimate goal, which is to clean the ocean of plastic pollution before it's too late. Which is exactly According to what the we're International well. Conservation for Nature, Shout out Team 8 million C's. tons of plastic winds up in our oceans every year, threatening marine life and polluting ecosystems all over the world. Yep. The Center for Biological Diversity estimates that plastic waste will outweigh all the fish in the sea by the year 2050. This is a global disaster and we must act immediately. Absolutely. It's within our lifetime, folks. That is within our lifetime. That's crazy. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and ring that bell for more Absolutely videos from will. CNET's YouTube channel and check out our other conservation videos, including more coverage on the ocean cleanup and for ocean. Thanks for watching. Thanks for presenting it, man. Absolutely. Definitely let me know what you guys thought about this one down in the comments below. Huge, huge shout out to Mr. Beast and Mark Rober for getting this thing going, using their platforms for something good. Um, it, it, it only takes a couple, right, that have the power of voice to get more and more. You know we here at Simple Reacts are totally down for this uh, whole movement and everything, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys are enjoying the video selection for the day. Um, and we can keep this going. If you guys enjoy the science thing, let me know. Uh, if you guys want to watch more of this stuff, even outside, I think we're going all the way until January. So we'll definitely have some more of this stuff. So definitely put it through the Google Forms, and um, we'll get it up here. Let's raise some awareness. We can do this together. Um, 
Make sure you guys stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive. I'll catch you on the next one.